Hi, boys and girls. Mr. Schwartz is back again for your weekly health class. Today, we are going to be focusing on our bones and our organs. So I want you to think about what your bones are. Uh, and I have a brain buster to start you off. So how many bones can you name and how many bones do you think are in the body? All right. I will give you a second to pause, discuss, write down your answers, and then hit play when you're ready to go. Okay, so there are actually 206 bones in your body. It's quite a lot. Fun fact, more than half of those bones are in your hands and your feet. Okay, so you have lots of bones there. All right, uh, so what I want to talk to you today is about how to keep those bones strong because they're very important. They help us to move. They give us our structure. Um, they're very, very important to take care of. So um, let's talk about it. Well, really the same way that you keep the rest of your body healthy uh, by protecting it, resting and eating healthy and exercising, that's the same way that you protect your bones. But there are a couple things that are unique to your bones, like the mineral calcium. So you get calcium from the foods that you eat. Now, most people think that calcium only comes from dairy foods, foods that come from milk. Uh, and I'm here to tell you that that's actually not true. Uh, in fact, you can actually get a better source of calcium from your green leafy vegetables. So if you take a look at this picture here, you see all your dairy foods like your cheese and your yo and your milk and your yogurt and all that good stuff. And that is certainly going to give you calcium. But if you look in the back here where you have your um, you have your spinach and you have your broccoli and your romaine lettuce and various other green leafy vegetables, you that is where you're going to get the best source of calcium. So make sure you're eating those greens if you want to have strong bones. Um, additionally, you want to make sure that you're exercising. And this doesn't mean it could be playing sports, but it doesn't necessarily have to. You should be moving your body, uh, getting your heart rate up, and moving all your body parts around and playing games that you like. And you should be doing that for 60 minutes a day, okay? So once you get that homework done, I want you to get outside. I want you to play and have some fun. And finally, another way to protect your bones, seems obvious, but um, is to protect yourself, okay? So wearing a helmet when you ride a bike or a rollerblade and knee pads and elbow pads can certainly help as well. All right, so let's move on to organs. Okay, so organs. We learned a little bit about organs in the beginning of the year. We talked about our heart, and we talked about our stomach, and we talked about our lungs. Okay, so that's three right there. So how many organs do you think that are in our entire body? That's my first question, my first brain buster for you. And my second one is how many organs can you name? All right, so I want you to pause the video. I want you to think about those questions and hit play when you're ready to go. All right, welcome back. Actually, there are 78 organs in the body. All right, so by definition, organs are kind of hard to uh, decipher because really in order to be considered an organ, you just have to be a group of tissues working together, okay? But, so there are 78. 78 is the answer to the question, but some scientists or maybe even your parents will say, oh, that's not necessarily totally true, but it's the closest number that we have. So, but the five main organs that you absolutely need, cannot live without, are your heart, your brain, your kidneys, your liver, and your lungs. Okay, and if you were writing down any other ones, some examples could be your esophagus, large intestine, small intestine, pancreas, your veins, your arteries, your eyes, the insides of your ears, your skin is an organ, your teeth, believe it or not, are an organ, and so is your tongue, and many, many more. All right, with your parents' permission, uh, you guys can go on the internet and search all the different organs of the body. Uh, that's going to be your challenge for today. So. I hope you enjoyed this mini health lesson. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope to see you soon, whether it be on a Zoom phys ed class or in person, hopefully sooner rather than later. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope to see you soon. Have a good day.